Well, hey friend. Good morning. Do you like my snow pile I've got going on? I like my snow pile. The sun's out, so it's warmed up a little bit. I've been moving around and digging a bunch, so I'm feeling nice and nice and warm and toasty and ready to fill you in with what the game plan is here. So we're in Northwestern Ontario. Uh, this is like endless Canadian shield, just rippled in lakes. There's almost more lakes than there is land to stand on out here. And when it's winter, the lakes freeze, creating tons of surface area to explore on. But in the past week here in December, a winter storm system has moved through dumping over a foot of snow and also bringing along with it a cold snap. So getting down into the negative 30s, which is quite cold, and then overnight when you add in the wind chill factor, it gets to negative 40 perceived temperature. And the, the wind is really, really challenging when it's just whipping in your face. Thankfully, as the sun's come out and I've gotten moving, it feels a lot warmer here during the day, but it's gonna be pretty cold at nighttime. So I haven't brought a tent. What I've been making behind here is my tent, a snow cave, a Quincy. This is my favorite structure to build in the winter to sleep in. It's got incredible insulating value. So I got my snow pile going first light today so that way throughout the day it has enough time to settle and harden. So hopefully by the time I start to dig it out tonight it's actually going to be sturdy enough and hold structure. Because uh, uh, if it doesn't hold structure then it's going to be a long hike out without uh, having a thing to sleep in. So that would be not so ideal. So I learned how to make a cooking tripod like this. I, was, I think I was eight or nine years old. And the thing is, is I've never actually used it for cooking uh, until now. So this will be first time cooking with it. I've got the Dutch oven here and uh, we're gonna hang it over the fire. Oh, the warmth of that fire is nice. So today's actually a rest day for me um, because the igloo is taking a lot more work than I was expecting, just some grunt repetitive work. And so I wanted to take advantage of the relatively nice skies and the colder temperatures and actually try some uh, other methods of camping that are a little bit easier. I thought the igloo would be done by now. I think you might enjoy that igloo build quite a bit because uh, I'm hoping the finished result is gonna be pretty stunning. Practicality wise, as far as the survival structure, I think it's mainly helpful if you want to spend weeks out on the ice and maybe there's not as many trees around so you can't build any kind of structures out of trees. Um, so it's a, it's a lot of a lot of work for, we'll see what kind of payoff, but it's hard to argue with the effectiveness of a Quincy. It's why I like it so much. We've got some more work to do. I've got a whole uh, snow cave to dig out, so uh, we need some nutrition.
Man, I'm having such a delightful day out here. Maybe it's just the contrast from the heavy days of cutting out ice blocks to just uh, be sitting around staying warm eating food. That is a pretty nice contrast. But uh, it is going to drop to negative 32 tonight is the forecast with wind chills coming in at around 9 p.m. The wind is going to start blowing and it's supposed to feel like negative 40. So we definitely don't want to be in a three season tent uh, as I have, a ha I have a habit of doing that for winter camping. Uh, definitely the Quincy is going to come in pretty clutch. And if you're enjoying this adventure with me, it's fantastic to have you. I don't know if you're new to my channel, but uh, it's great to have you. I do all sorts of random adventures for work. I make videos and so I run a production company called Left Coast Media House. I make all these different adventure videos for clients. But I personally like getting out on my spare time on my holidays and going on my own adventures. That's a personal favorite. So that's what I do here on the channel. And we have some really cool things coming up. So I wouldn't want you to miss out on them. I'm building a full-size electric motorcycle. We do van life travel. It's a whole bunch of uh, wild stuff. It's not always winter camping, unfortunately. So if that's what you're sticking around for, you're, you're probably going to be let down just a little bit. Oh, yeah. This is great. This is uh, it's set in really nice, which is probably a result of the temperature warming up during the day today. Let's we'll see how it's pulling away in big blocks like this. This is what we want. That shows me that the snow has really bonded to itself and it's going to hold up as a structure as I start to hollow it out. Before it gets too dark to see anymore, I wanted to show you how thick the ice is. And uh, we're that thick already and we haven't broken through to water. Um, when I do break through to water, it'll fill the hole. Uh, but let's uh, keep drilling. Okay, keep going. Oh, okay. So I broke through there. Well, I accidentally chipped the top layer off. Uh, it was about up to there, but it's this really cool two-tone ice right now. But this is the blocks that I'm making my igloo out of. The blocks are just a lot bigger and more square and better all around.
coming together. Just a few more loads of snow and uh, some smoothing out of the walls, and we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be done. Okay, just getting my bed set up. Might pull a little bit more for my tow box. I know some of you, when you watch these videos, you think for yourselves how to go out and make your own adventure videos. And I, two thumbs up, definitely recommend doing that because even for me, like I've been making videos on this channel for a decade and uh, it's only in the past six months that I've started doing solo overnight trips. Prior to that, I never did anything solo overnight ever because I was scared of the dark. I don't mean to turn this into some sort of self-help thing, but, uh, I'm just reflecting on how much I'm enjoying this and that it's an opportunity that was opened up to me by facing my fear a little more. Um, and if you watch something like this and you have questions about how to make videos of your own or that kind of thing, I usually get flooded with how do, how do I make better stories? How do I tell adventure videos? What do, what do I do? Where do I start? What's the gear? Uh, that's a position I was in 10 years ago, not knowing where to start, not having a community, not knowing how to do it. Um, and I get tons of those questions on my videos, so I know I wasn't alone in this. Um, and I know there's many of you that are still in that spot. And so something that I've become really passionate about is helping other people progress their skill set and go tackle projects that they're proud of to actually finish a video that they can say, I'm really proud I made that. It took me five years to get to that point where I actually made a video where I went, hey, I really like this. And uh, that commitment is worth it. It takes focus determination to grow your skill set and it takes community around you to remind you that settling for mediocrity is just boring like go for excellence whatever that means for you um in response to the flooding of questions i get i want to self-sponsor my own video uh, i started something called the adventure film academy and it started by me just taking people out on experiences, showing them how I do video and going out on sailing trips, going hiking, going out into the mountains and just getting an experience and diving deep on the skill set of video. So that's how the Adventure Film Academy started. I'm really passionate about it. It's some of my favorite experiences in my life so far is getting to be with other storytellers and uh, I'm taking it online. So if you want to join an online community of people who are like minded, who also want to make excellent videos, who also want to expand their skill set. If you want to join a boot camp, a session, if you want to take one of our modules with a cohort, I teach live, I do all sorts of different things. Adventurefilmacademy.com is a great place to find out about that. Thanks for listening to me for a moment, share about that. Uh, it's something that I'm really passionate about and care deeply about. Uh, the skill set of storytelling is the skill set that I'm most grateful that I'm actively practicing in my life, the thing that I'm working at getting better at all the time. Well, I'm all bundled up in the Quincy. I've been uh, passing the time listening to some audio books. Um, I've got my camera outside doing time lapses of the fire, so I gotta head out and grab that and then officially tuck in here. Make sure I don't brush the ceiling and get snow on me this time. I definitely wanna brush the snow off me before I uh, fall asleep here. Thank you.
Well, friend, good morning. Uh, I'm low on battery, so I'll keep it brief, but I uh, already had a nice hearty breakfast this morning. This has actually been a nice restful experience for me, just focusing on cooking meals and enjoying myself. Um, I'm gonna buckle down and get back to my igloo build. That is definitely a lot more grunt work and just head down and just, and just keep going. Um, if you wanna see that igloo video, it'll be live on the channel hopefully relatively soon. And uh, that's gonna be it for this one from Northwestern Ontario in the dead of winter, having a lot of fun. Uh, I just wanna remind you that life's better when you make stuff. And in closing here, if you're still watching and you wanna check out some other playlists, I've put together a special playlist of some of my favorite videos that I think you'll like as well. I wanna say a massive thank you to our channel members. Wow, so cool having your support. You make the channel run. If you want to become a channel member, it's the price of a cup of coffee. Hit the join button. You get a little badge next to your name when you comment, which just warms my heart. Go give a member a kudos down in the comment. You can see it next to their name. And you also get some special videos that are secret. I've been keeping the members up to date with these Igloo projects for weeks now. So if you want to be on the inside track, get that more info, definitely click that join button. See ya.